If you had to name the ugliest thing on this trailer, what would you say? Agreed. This window is really cramping the trailer style, don't you think? Now, I had been kind of putting it off, not that there hasn't been enough work to do on the trailer, but the window and these panels, that's, that's a lot of work. I mean, the window will come out pretty easily, but these panels, there's like, I think I counted 264 rivets that all need to come out. They're all incorrect. You can clearly see that when they redid this whole area, they put steel rivets in that are now rusting as opposed to the aluminum aircraft style rivets that this trailer should have. So I think it's probably time to start working on this area. And you know, it's winter here. You couldn't tell it by my short sleeves today because it's actually fairly warm, but that's gonna change real soon. But I hate to wait until warm weather to tear into this, right? The clock's a ticking. We gotta get this thing done. And this is one of the bigger things left to dismantle. So I'll give you, I wanna bring you in a little closer so you can kind of see exactly what we need to do. And there's no way we're gonna get this all done in this video. So this is gonna be part one of a couple part series on ripping this whole area out. Um, so with that, let me bring you in closer and kind of show you exactly what the current situation is and how we're gonna rectify it. Do you want to help with the semi's restoration? Donate now to the semi restoration GoFundMe initiative or buy one of our awesome semi restoration team shirts. Links are in the video description below. Alrighty, so clear as day, this has all been replaced. I mean, you can see the color difference even in the panels. So when we bring you in here closer, you can see the original aircraft style rivets, no head on them. Or I mean, there's a head, but there's no, they're solid is what I'm trying to say. And then they've all been replaced with these kind of generic steel rivets, which as you can see, have been crying. No doubt crying because they are contributing to destroying a piece of television history. But anyways, and then of course we have this lovely, lovely window. Now I think, I'm not sure, I don't think those rivets are holding the window in, although I could be wrong. We'll have to look at it on the inside. It looks like there's just a few screws holding the window in and then we can kind of pop it out. But we've got all of these rivets, all of them, all of them up there, all need to come out. And once they're out, once we get this down to what's left of the original supports in there, right? Because they had to cut the support here, here, and here. Um, we're going to graft in new pieces there. We'll keep the original graft in the new ones, and then we're going to reskin this area. This is the only part of the trailer that is going to get completely new skin on it. Um, and I think it has to be that way. And it's evident that these aren't the original panels anyways. I mean, you can see that. So everywhere else where we've got holes, those are all going to get patched. But this is getting reskinned. So... Um, what they did, this side should mirror the other side in terms of how the panels were laid out. So this panel here, this is an original panel, but this panel originally went to right here. Okay, so they cut this original panel, they cut it here and then grafted this in. We are not going to remove that panel. 
since that is original. We're going to keep that panel and then we're just going to put in a new panel right here and a new panel right there. So take a look at this. All right, just to kind of give you a, uh, a comparison shot. So this is the original panel. We've got one, two, three, four, five, and then the sixth row is the overlapping row. All right, so let's walk around to the other side of the trailer. Dun. And here's what I was talking about. So we got one, two, three, four, five, and then this is where that overlap is. So you can see how much was cut off. That much was cut off, all right? Um, this front panel on this side has what? One, two, three, four, five. And I think, this other side has five also. Yes, one, two, three, four, five. So thankfully, this panel was not cut at all. And I say thankfully, because this is the original panel that has three of those bolts in it. And I'm glad we can keep that, even though we could replicate it, but I'm glad that's staying original. So really, um, yeah, that other panel goes to, I think it was here actually, not here, there. And then we'll put a full panel in right there and no one will be the wiser. But whenever we redo all these rivets, you can see there's actually three sizes. We've got what I'm calling the small, we've got medium and we've got large. All right, so the large rivets go where, you know, right above where these other rivets are. So those are all, these are always large. These ones in the middle are all the medium and then all the ones in, in between are the small ones. All right, so let's go inside and show you what we've got to do on the inside to get work started. All right, so now we're inside and you can get a better look at what's going on in here. So obviously all of these panels are gonna to have to be removed. So we get to repeat the fun we had on the back wall with getting those fasteners out and all these ones at the top as well. So that'll allow us to get to the back side of all the rivets. Um, so this window, you know, it just looks like it might be held in by a few screws along the perimeter. We'll have to see once we kind of get in there. But first step is yanking all of these panels out. And actually, this is good. We're doing this for another reason, because this panel is wet and it's all warped because of the window there and it's not sealing properly and it's rained so much and snow, water's getting inside of here and getting that all wet. So that has to, that has to be fixed. There's just no way around it. When we take this window out and when we take all these panels out, we'll probably just, like we did with the uh, back door, we'll probably just, uh, put a tarp over all this to kind of protect it while we're working on it. All right, so we're gonna start by pulling off the, actually drilling out all of these fasteners on this side. I shoved a piece of styrofoam up here in the window to help reduce the glare a little bit, but I can see there's still a little bit, so I apologize for that. Now, I know you guys have already seen me, you know, drill out the other ones, and you think, well, big deal, he's drilling out more boards, why do I wanna watch? But I'm gonna spice it up a little for you. In between each fastener I drill out, I'm gonna tell you a completely false Knight Rider fact, okay? All right, so our first false Knight Rider fact. Michael Knight was originally going to be Michelle Knight, played by Jane Seymour. Kit's original button name for jumping in the air was not Turbo Boost. It was actually Jumper Rooney. The original premise of Knight Rider was not about a man in a talking car, but rather about a woman walking down the street called Daywalker.
Edward Mulher was the 47th choice for Devin Miles. They just couldn't get anyone that wanted the role. Kid originally was not a Trans Am, but rather a Model T. The network at the time thought it was too reminiscent of my mother the car. Originally, the night automated roving robot or car was simply known as the Night Industries 22,000 or kit -t 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 -t, but they thought viewers would get confused. This board is pretty rotten. I'm trying to get it out in one piece. But it doesn't seem to want to come out in one piece. Oh, maybe we'll get it. Look at that. I don't know if you can see just how wet that board is. That's pretty bad. And there's a brace in here that looks like it was welded in. It's all rusty. This is a little bit rusty. So yeah, this is a good thing we're ripping this out. All right, so we got these two panels off, and one thing I wanted to point out that's very interesting. So remember how I was saying this panel out here is not original? Well, clearly it's not. I mean, I don't know if you can tell, but there's, this is the original aluminum, like it's raw aluminum, okay? But if you look at these panels back here, which are original, they have a, I don't know if it's paint, but they've got a coating on them, right? They're not just raw aluminum finish. They have a uh, almost a green tint to them. But this panel here doesn't, which tells us that's not original, which we kind of knew. But take a look at this. See the difference? This is an original panel. Now what makes this interesting is this. Right here, is where it says it's an original panel. Here's where it says it's a new one, but this is all one piece. The original panel is underneath the new panel they put on the outside for right there, and most likely right here. So now of course that begs the question, is the other side of that panel still black? I guess it all depends on when the window was put in, right? If the window was put in after the trailer was sandblasted and painted white, then that's white on the other side. But if the window was put in when it was still black, that should be black on the other side. I think we need to drill out some rivets and peel back the skin enough to see what's under there. All right, so we're going to remove some of these rivets in this video. Not all of them. There's like, like I said, 264-ish. Um, I found the easiest way, I did a couple over here. I think the easiest way is gonna be to use a cutoff and try and cut this off. This panel is getting junked, it's not original. So I don't care if I mar um, the aluminum underneath while I'm cutting these ones. Now, of course, when we get to um, the ones that are attached to original panels, we're gonna be much more delicate, but these ones we don't have to worry about. So let's drill some out. Well, not drill, grind, you get it.
All right. So I got that whole corner done. That should be enough. Let's peel that back and see if there happens to be any black behind it. That would be amazing. I don't see any black. Nope, it's white underneath. So that tells us the window was put in after the trailer was sandblasted and painted. That's too bad. But we got a couple dozen rivets ground out real nice and quick. So maybe we'll do a few more and then uh, get back at our job on the inside there. So we've got a series of rivets that run along the header panel on the top of the trailer. And these we have to be careful with on the outside at least because we can't grind them away because if we accidentally hit the header, then we're destroying original part of the trailer. So, plus it's actually, it's really high up to be on a ladder trying to drill these out. So then I came in here and I had the great idea. Well, I can reach the back of the rivets a lot easier because we're up on the upper deck here and just a short ladder and I can reach them. And it doesn't matter if I hit this panel because it's not original. So why don't we just grind them off from the backside? So that's what we're gonna do. Be prepared for a shower of sparks. Two hundred and sixty four rivets ground out or drilled out. But I think we're finally ready to remove the window. I can't wait. Let's get going. All right, so we've got a few screws in here that need to come out first. We'll see how easily this actually comes out. And of course there's like a ton of leather stripping. I think it's gonna go. I'm attempting to not break this glass.
Come on. Oh. There we go. We are window free. Oh. Probably shouldn't have done this in the middle of winter. Oh well. Well, while we're at it. Looking a little breezy. That's fine. So now you guys can get a good look. This is original panel that was hidden for 30 years. Unfortunately, it's gonna get hidden again. We're not gonna cut this off, but it's gonna have to be covered up because they did notch out, as you can see, some of this panel, which is too bad because this panel, this is the correct width of the panel. They just notched that out right there. And I don't think there's any easy way to graft a piece in there without seeing seams across there. So we're just gonna, you know, cover that up again. But so it looks like they welded in some bracing up here. This is all, and there's a L channel up there that's gonna have to come out too. But it's looking pretty good. That top piece, we're close to being able to pull it out, just not quite yet. So um, we'll probably just put a tarp over this until um, we're ready to reskin it. Speaking of reskinning, let me show you something. Right here, we got back from our uh, fabricator the replacement panels we need. They're already cut to size. The only thing that they need are the holes punched in it, which we'll uh, get to here. But we have that, we've got the rivets, we've got the tools we need. So we are ready to install the replacement skins next, which is gonna be really cool. Definitely need some help with that piece. That's literally a two-man job. You gotta have one person on the inside holding the back of the rivet with a tool and the other person on the outside with an air hammer to beat the rivet in. So no way one person can do this job. So that's coming up sooner rather than later. All right, so here's what we're looking at from the inside. Like I said, a little bit open, but here you can really see all of this needs to come out. That was all put in there to help support the window. That and up top as well. So looks like they welded all of this into the vertical supports. So we're gonna have to cut all this out. Same with up top. Won't be hard, just a little time consuming. But then once those are cleared out, then we can knock all of these, the rivets that we ground off, knock all the, those pieces out and we'll be ready to install the new panels. So this is the fun and easy part where I just knock out all of the rivets. You didn't see, well, you did see all of the hard work beforehand to make the easy part possible.
It's interesting. You can tell this, this plastic that I was pulling off and the way it was laying that it was sandwiched by the panels. You can tell that whenever they installed this, they didn't remove the wood panel on the inside. They removed the outer skin, shoved the insulation in here and then reskinned it. And there we go. Looks like a rivet massacre, doesn't it? All right, so those are all clean. So now we got to get that top panel off. We got most of the rivets out, have about a dozen more. Get that out, rinse and repeat, do the same thing down here. Then we'll remove those pieces. We have replacement ribs from our friend Danny Nassif. We're going to graft in here and then we'll be ready to slap on the new aluminum panels. All right, so let's see how we're going to hang this tarp. Oh, that's about perfect. All right, so I think what we're gonna do, we've got some zip ties here. Let's see if we can zip tie it on the inside. That way, if it rains, it'll go on the front of the tarp and out as opposed to in the trailer. Not that there's really much it can hurt. That should work. I'm not really too concerned about it. I mean, there's literally nothing on the inside that can be damaged. This should be just fine. And just like that, even the blue tarp looks better than that window, doesn't it? All right, guys, I think that should do it for this video on the semi. The next one is gonna be I think reskin in the side of this thing. So that's going to be one you're not going to want to miss. The rebuild finally starts. Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you next time. <sighs> Never ends. Thank you.